my husband at the time was working for Associated Press, so he had reporters. Uh, he's an editor at AP, so he had reporters in New Orleans, and he would come home and tell me what his reporters were seeing and doing and saying and talking about, and would also give me photographs that they couldn't print in the paper, usually because they were too graphic. So a lot of the ideas came from there. Uh, when, after the long, hard road to it being a book, which was not easy, it was there were questions raised there too, um, I had to figure out then what the arc was going to be. Um, I, you know, I tell people that usually you put a book together, a poetry book, and you try to balance the long poems, the short poems, the funny poems, the serious poems. And when you're writing about something like Katrina, there are no funny poems, you know. So I had that kind of taken away. I didn't have that to work with. Uh, so it's it was roughly, um, there's a rough chronological order, and it helped to have Katrina personified because I I let it sort of move with her strength and then weakening. And so the, the rest of the narrative was kind of built up around. That's why she kept coming back. And she's alternately, you know, uh, a bitch and arrogant and remorseful and scared. And, you know, and so I would, I would build up the other stories around whatever she was doing, her appearance at the time.